Mae'n wrth nos fawr, pêl droed Ewrop i glybiau uwch gynghrair Cymru. Ni gyda dynion sy'n arwain y clybiau i Ewrop. Guys, just saying it's a big week, European football. You're leading the Welsh clubs into Europe. Uh, Christian, we've heard about progress from Luxembourg. Everybody calls them a tricky outfit. How would you describe them? Yeah, I believe so. Um, whilst they've got the trickiness, we've also got the fact that the new manager... It brought 10 new players in, got rid of 10 players. So we're really you know, going in blind, really. Um, all we can go off is some of the comments that he's made. And we've looked at uh, the old team he used to coach and the systems that he played there. So uh, that's the kind of way we've led this, this the preparation to that. So um, it'll be interesting and tricky, as you say. And very hot, you've been telling me. Yeah, we've looked at the weather forecast from Tuesday onwards, and that's when we're out there, and uh, it doesn't drop below 34 degrees, so it's going to be tough uh, regarding the uh, regarding the weather. But then that's a, that's a lesson for us to make sure that when we've got the ball, we look after it, and when we haven't got it, we, we're, we're efficient and effective um, with what we do without the ball. Absolutely. Um, Barrytown, back in Europe. Cardiff Met in Europe for the for the first time. It's going to be a great occasion, obviously. But uh, how are the preparations going so far, Gavin? Yeah, going really well. Um, just just a genuine excitement around the place, really, you know. Um, it's such a freshness to it. Yes, we're in early, but that's a privilege. And uh, hugely looking forward to the game. You know, we've had some good warm-up games. We've worked on some different systems, some different ideas. And, uh, yeah, we look forward to the game now. What's interesting, Cliftonville played Connors Key over the weekends. Yeah. How much do you take from these games? You know, how much do people experiment, I guess? So is there anything you can learn from what happened with their game on the weekend, your game on the weekend as well? Yeah, it's a bit of cat and mouse, isn't it? Obviously, we were over in Balamina, no doubt. Uh, Clifton yeah, would you Hill. be showing your hand, so to speak? Not fully, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, you know, and Paddy, their manager, won't be doing the same. I uh, will be doing the same, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I look at it and I think it's all part of the preparation, you know. Um, they try a few things. We've tried a few things. Just about getting players' minutes and and, and getting through injuries uh, with, with without injuries, sorry, and making sure that we're we're best prepared for the game. You know, I'm, I've not, no doubt they had eyes on us. You know, we'd have had eyes on them. Uh, and in reality, you pick up bits about individual players and and some ideas, but uh, it's very difficult. Um, there's a philosophy, if I can say, for Barrytown and Cardiff Met. You, you both. Uh, you stick to your guns. You play football. <clears throat> Do you have to fiddle at all going into European games, or is it just? The, the usual with Ballytown? For me, it's just us being the best us we can be. You know, I don't think we can be anyone else. Um, yes, we've tried to add to our game. Yes, we've tried to add information in terms of certain parts of our game, but it's all part of layering that process and improving over long term. So we're not going to change anything really, just about being the best us we can be. Yeah, it's the same with you, Christian, because certainly you've got you, Cardiff Matt, you've got a, a way of playing, you've got a philosophy as well. Do you have to adapt to that for Europe? I think it's being flexible within that philosophy. I totally echo Gav's words there about looking at different options. Um, but for ourselves, it's been about detail, adding the detail to the game. Uh, we know the team that we're playing, we're probably going to have less of the ball than we normally do, which was ideal to play TNS in our last preparation game, knowing that it's the team that likes to be ball dominant. So so we, we had that strategy in mind. Um, so we look forward to it. This is going to be an interesting challenge. Um, I referred the home game first, but we, we, we have it the home game second. And for us at the weekend uh, against TNS, we were 2-1 down at half time. We spoke about, let's put this into context. If this is next Thursday, 2-1, away goal, um, it, this, is, this is a good scoreline. So we have to kind of look at that. And we, we spoke about the, the, the second half being a clean sheet. And um, unfortunately, we didn't. We can see another goal, but it, it was learning. There was uh, lessons to be learned there. Um, but it's it's going to be an interesting day. And Gav said about the freshness and uniqueness about it, and I, I totally agree. It's a, it's an unbelievable achievement for both clubs, um, and we'll do our best, no doubt, for Welsh football um, in in the coming weeks. Absolutely. There's an Adam Rossgrove-sized hole to fill in your team now. A great move for him personally, of course. But how much of a well, how how, how does that affect your selection issues? Um, I think. We've worked all pre-season knowing that Adam would be leaving us without Adam in the team, but it gives an opportunity to other individuals. We've brought some two good individuals into the team, but there's young lads in the team that have been able to grow over the last uh, 12 to 18 months, and uh, it's an opportunity now, and I, th I believe life's about an opportunity, and somebody can uh, step into the shoes le left by Adam and um, hopefully take that chance, and um, why not be that person that scores the goal uh, to send us yeah. through? Absolutely, that'd be, that'd be great. Uh, that'd be some achievement as well. And Barry Town, of course, some changes with Motura going back to Newport. Uh, Jack Compton coming in. So, is it a different look to Barry Town over the summer and the next season? Um, well, firstly, I'd like to echo what Christian said. Fantastic for the league that Adam's moved on. Congratulations to, to Cardiff Met as a football club as well. And, and with Southam Hills, with Barry as well, it's been some season being watched, Gavin. <laughs> yeah, it's great for the league. You know, there's lots of young, good young talent out there, and it's great to see Adam progress. Um, Jack's come the other way. Jack's had a really good football league career. Um, he's a local lad. You know, we try to work with local lads wherever we possibly can. And, and Jack will bring experience to us. Um, he'll bring quality as well. 
I'm looking forward to working with him. You know, it's uh, it's been a long time coming this move. I think that he will find the league um, a very different uh, proposition to what he's been playing in recent years. Uh, but I think it's uh, a league that can actually suit his attributes. And uh, just finally, have you looked beyond? Because the draws have been made already. You can see the next step. There's. Uh, I'll just. I better check my notes here. Hagerson, Storm, Graz. Are you looking that far? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Tr- in truth, that is. You know, Cliftonville are a good side. They've uh, they've campaigned in Europe over many years now. Uh, they're an experienced European side, and they're seeded. Um, so you know, we know we're up against it. We know we're underdogs, but. I know, believe ticket sales are going well. I think that we'll do everything we can to make, uh, you know, Leckworth Stadium our our home ground and uh, give it our absolute all because we never know when these opportunities will come around again. Yeah, and uh, has anybody mentioned Cork City or, or even Rangers yet around Cardiff Met? Because that that's the pathway if you can get through. It's been mentioned, but as Gavin says, you'd be a fool to look beyond that. I think we have to give the hundred percent respect to progress and and the fix that we'll be playing. Um, if it happens, it happens. Um, but again, we look forward to travelling tomorrow to Luxembourg, ready for the game on Thursday. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Um, safe journey. Hope it goes well. See you in uh, Lekwith on Thursday, Gavin. Dunani, Lotterville, George, Europeans, Dylan Nuchny, Arscorio, Drugadil Ruthnos.